السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل پریویسلی آئی میڈ اے ویڈیو اباؤٹ ارتھ آبٹ بٹ آن ریکویسٹ آئی ایم میکنگ دس ویڈیو اگین ٹو ایکسپلین سم امپارٹنٹ پوائنٹس ڈسکس ان دس یونٹ ٹو ڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ ارتھ آبٹ اٹ شیپ دا ٹائم اٹ ٹیکس ٹو کمپلیٹ ون آبٹ دا رول آف گریوٹی اینڈ ہاؤ دا ٹیلٹ آف ارتھ ایکسس کازز سیزنس The Earth moves around the Sun in a fixed path called an orbit. This orbit is slightly oval in shape which is known as an ellipse. Because of this elliptical shape, the Earth is sometimes closer to the Sun and sometimes farther away. On average, the distance between Earth and the Sun is about 150 million kilometers. It takes the Earth approximately 365 quarter days or one year to complete its orbit around the Sun. During this time, the Earth travels a distance of about 940 million kilometers. The Sun, being much larger than Earth, exerts a stronger gravitational pull on Earth, keeping it in its orbit. The Earth moves around the Sun in an anti-clockwise direction. Next we have the seasons. Seasons are caused by the earth's tilt on its axis as it orbits the sun. The earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degree, which means that different parts of the earth receive varying amount of sunlight throughout the year. In the northern hemisphere, summer occurs around June when it is tilted towards the sun, while winter happens in December when it tilts away. The southern hemisphere experiences the opposite. When the northern hemisphere has summer, the southern hemisphere has winter and vice versa. Spring and autumn occur in March and September when neither hemisphere is tilted toward or away from the sun, resulting in equal day and night lengths. Different seasons in different parts of the world. Seasons vary in different parts of the world based on their location relative to the equator. The equator receives nearly the same amount of sunlight throughout the year. So there are no distinct seasons and the temperature stays relatively constant. In contrast, areas near the poles experience more extreme seasonal changes with very long winters and very long summers. The further you move away from the equator, the more noticeable the seasons become. For example, in places like the northern and southern poles, there are months of darkness in winter and months of daylight in summer. On the other hand, areas closer to the equator experience more moderate seasonal changes. So the conclusion is, in this video we have learned about Earth's orbit and how it affects the changing of seasons. Earth's orbit around the sun along with its tilted axis creates the cycle of seasons which we experience each year. We have also seen how different parts of the world have varying seasons with region closer to the equator having little seasonal change and areas farther from the equator experiences more extreme variations in temperature and daylight. Understanding these concepts helps us appreciate how our planet works and how it influences the climate and environment around us. I hope this video helped you understand the relationship between Earth's movement, its orbit, and the seasons. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more educational videos. And let me know in the comments if you would like to learn about any other topics. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time. Take care. Allah Hafiz.